everybody. Welcome to the NRP Daily. Happy Monday to all here on the National State Post here with Kimber White of the National Association of Mortgage Brokers, president of NAM. And Kimber, you were starting to tell me some stuff and I was like, shut up. Don't, don't even say it. Exactly. I don't want to leave it in the green room. You've got some exactly. news for us. You got some news for us. Start telling us what's going on. What do you got? Well, the, we've gotten back uh, from our lobbyists and something, you know, NAM's always been pushing. We've talked about this. NAM has said that we've got to get competitive in the housing market, that the wealth inequality gap is there. What are we going to do? How are we going to get more people to buy in the homes? Uh, what's hurting? We've all said that FHA, life of the loan, uh, MI is hurting, that the MI of, of a monthly factor is 0.85 or 0.80, depending on how much you put down, is a factor. Well, uh, HUD, we've done a lot of talking, lobbying, we're involved in the conversation. HUD is uh, now opening up and talking about uh, reducing the MI. Uh, monthly am I basically they're talking about it possibly as low as a half they're talking wow. about that yeah they're even talking about not having the life of the loan putting a tier factor of, you know criteria what's in the talks but I think with uh, HUD and, and Marsha Fudge uh, Commissioner Fudge it's going to be um, a big different year this year that's something which just came out to us I think it's going to really change it's going to also have some competition with FHFA and the GSEs so, you know, my philosophy is maybe it'll slow down this GSE. You know, it's going to be some nice talking here, but I think that's going to slow some stuff down uh, with the GSEs because they're going to have to compete and they're going to have to come out with programs because, you know, FHA, the reason people would put them in Fannie and Freddie loans is because we get rid of MI. But if they now go to the bat and be able to get rid of the MI at a certain factor, that puts a total of ball game called, I call it ball game on, guys. So let me get this right. So they're already looking at dropping the monthly MI to a half. Is that what? Is that what? Uh, it, that, that's that's the bottom line. That you know it could be anywhere in between. But that's the discussion with her going in. She hasn't got her feet wet. She hasn't taken on. But right. these are some of the this is things they're talking out. about. And they're even talking about having that the MI just drop off at at some point. Oh, I'm sure there'd be criteria and stuff like that. But that's talk right, right. now. Yeah. But they're talking that about the talk that. Stuff. Yes, they so are. These could be big, big yes. FHA changes. That could yeah, be. and Nam has and Nam's been in this conversation. You know this for years. Yes. We've talked about it. We've said it. Now we're really pushing for it. This has been one of my big talking points as president: is that we need to reform FHA. You know, we need to get that done. Uh, it's been talked about for years. Uh, we had John Porter, who was our FHA chair for years, who put a great synopsis of things. We're going to put a proposal together. We're going to be a part of this. We're going to carry this conversation. We want to make this come to fruition. We think it would be a game changer for our industry. I think so, too. Uh, it would be it would be really big. So is your over – I mean, obviously, I can tell you're feeling kind of pretty positive about yeah. fudge. Uh, yes. With respect to FHA, so this administration change in this regard looks like it's it's really going to be pretty advantageous to the mortgage mortgage and real estate industry. Well, Marsha Fudge, if you've already said, if you if you read what she said when she was she was being confirmed in her confirmation, is that she wants more for the first time homebuyer. She wants more from the minority. Uh, that even even Janet Yellen has said that uh, that we've got to get that done. We have to do more for the minority. We got to get more. For, again, we all—they're all noticing. Yellen said today that, that we really have an income. We have a problem with with COVID, and we have a, because she's wanting the COVID package passed. But also, we have to realize. I'll say it again: there's an income inequality gap, right. and it's widening. And we don't have the programs and the the guidelines that you really have to put forward under the home ready and the home possible right now are not as good as FHA. But the problem with FHA is because people look at it and you've got the MI, which overall is costing more than a home ready and a home possible with a good credit. It's the life of the loan MI. So what you've done is you've took people out of that bucket that could do FHA and they go over to home ready, home possible. So really, there's times that I think FHA is not uh, performing and people are refinancing out of a lot of FHA loans. I, I would say at least 25% of my business this year, past year, has financed out of FHA loans into conventional loans to get rid of the MI. So now you're going to lose that share. So you've got to start figuring out where you're at in that bucket and what's going on. So I think this is a positive move for them, along with the housing move that NAM's getting ready to do a call to action on because uh, there's a bill getting ready to drop uh, in the Senate. Oh, 
about Can you let that. us know about this? What is this? Yeah, it's just been, we're, you're the first you're going to hear it here. Okay. There is a bill that just got introduced, uh, Senate Bill 98, the Neighborhood Home Investment Act, that was reduced. Senators Ben Cardin and Rob Portman have introduced this bill. It's a Senate bill. A bill that would create a new federal tax credit to fuel development. The bipartisan legislation, the bill tax reflects MBA's priorities due to its long-term advocacy efforts would encourage the rehabilitation of single-family homes and potentially attract hundreds of billion dollars in development activity to underserved rural and urban areas across the country. So kind of another way of helping the inventory issue. Yep. Right? Yes. Because everyone's like, what about, you know, what everyone says, I'm hearing the negative. We can't afford this $15,000 or $7,500, whatever Biden's going after for the first time home buyers, there's no inventory. Correct. That's the problem. That's the problem. We all know that's the problem. There's no inventory. This helps with the inventory. Now you're throwing money back into it to be able to help for building and development and putting that bill back in there. Fantastic. And getting the underserved areas. So there is a solution to what he says. So, you know, it's a bipartisan effort. Of course, they're going to probably need a house companion, which I don't see that's going to be a problem to get. This is something that we're going to be doing a call to action on that we're going to be supporting. So watch for the call to action. These are the things that, you know, for me, I'm excited about. You've known since I've taken my presidency. I know if there's bad stuff happening, as you call it, and things that people aren't happy with on the outside. But for our industry, there's some really good things. If we channel it right, we're part of the conversation. We talk properly. We can make positive effects as an industry out of the housing market for all of us right now. Um, great, great information today, Kimber. Very good information about potential changes that could be coming uh, under uh, the FUDGE leadership with FHA with respect to MI. And the Senate Bill 98, uh, really remarkable because that I love it so much because there this is really looking at the actual issue that we have at hand, which is an inventory okay. issue. And that's helping to try and solve that issue. And not only that, but help it with respect to low to moderate income individuals, right. you know, trying to bridge the gap of, you know, trying to help with racial inequality and bridge the gap of, you know, the wealthy and the, and the not wealthy, you know, I mean, it's just, it's really, really great stuff. When do you think we'll see the call to action on the Senate bill? I would say we'll see it the first of next week. We're okay. going to get it out. Uh, our two lobbyists will get this out. Um, we're really active. We've hit the ground running with the administration over here at NAM. We've really, you know, uh, gotten involved. It's great to have a Democratic lobbyist and, and, and uh, Mike and, and our lobbyist and Roy uh, for our Republican side. We really are in the ground. We are in the weeds with it. We're making sure we're getting involved. We're making sure that we're going to have these. We're actually going after again, just a real one last thing too, the temporary uh, uh, tax on refinances, the adverse uh, action. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, yeah the temporary tax. Yeah. Well, it's been temporary for how many months? Long now? time now. So, yeah, a long time. Uh, and I haven't seen any negative, really, foreclosure or coming down to yeah. this, this. Actually, caused the reason to have this. So we're going after that again. Yeah, uh, I, I think we know that has to come off, uh, and we're going to go after that. And of course, we're going after to keep the GSEs not continuing because you know they're still trying to capitalize. So we're really excited about what's happening with NAM. Uh, and what's going to happen this year and how we're going to work to better our housing industry for our members and for the consumer. Amber White, president of the National Association of Mortgage Brokers. Thank you so much for all that information today. Guys, this is obviously um, an important show to forward along to everyone so we're aware of what's going on. Of course, stay tuned to us. Uh, we're connected to NAM and Kimber on a weekly basis. Once we get our call to action in place, we'll get that out right away so everybody can jump on that Senate bill. Uh, really appreciate you being here, Kimber. Thanks so much. Oh, and guys, I'll put a NAM banner down below. We can click NAM, become a member. It's only like 120 bucks a year. But uh, that's that's what this money goes for is this type of support, you know, up on the hill to try and make things better for all of us. It's doesn't matter if it's just, not just mortgage brokers, but better for everyone. I don't. So it just doesn't matter if you're in the mortgage or real estate industry, it would pay to become a NAM member uh, to, to help the cause. So with that, Kimber, thanks so much. And uh, we'll awesome. catch up with you next week. See you next week. Thanks. All right, guys, do us a favor. Leave your comments down below. Please share this one and subscribe if you're meeting us for the first time up above. And we'll catch you later here at the NRP Daily on the National Real Estate Post. Mm -hmm.